Hello students, let's do estimation and approximation. Exercise 2a. Exercise 2a, page 11. Question 1. Round off approximate each of the following to the nearest 10. Get a value very close to the actual value by rounding it off to the nearest 10. That's the meaning of this question. So, question 1, we have 62 and we have to round it off to the nearest 10. So, the first step is underline the digit in the tens place. So, I've done it here for you and I've highlighted it for you. So, first step is underline the digit in the tens place. Now, look at the digit to its right. It's 2. It's less than 5. If that is less than 5, then the underlined digit will remain the same. Okay. And the digit to its right will be replaced by 0. So, 2 will be replaced by 0 and 6 will remain the same. So, we have 60. So, that's how you do. You underline the digit in the tens place first and then you look at the digit to its right if it's less than 5. 5, if it's less than 5, this will remain as 6. This will not change. If it is 5 or more than 5, this will change to the next digit that is 7. So, keep that in mind when you do it. Next one. Question 2, we have 265. First step is to underline the digit in the tens place and we have 6 in the tens place and then look at the digit to its right, it's 5. So 5 or more than 5, then 6 will change. The underline digit will change. So 6 will now become 7. You add 1 to it, it will become 7 and 5 will be replaced by a 0. So we have 2 as it is, 6 will be Increase to one, one, one more that is 7 and 5 will be replaced with 0. So 270. Question 3. Here, let's look at the digit in the tens place. So 1s and 10s, we have 3 in the 1s place and 4 in the tens place. Next step is to look at the digit next to 4. It is less than 5, isn't it? 3 is less than 5. So 4 will remain the same. And replace 3 with a 0. So we have 5. 4 is remaining the same and 3 is replaced with a 0. 540. Question 4. The digit in the tens place is 6. Look at the digit to its right. It's less than 5. So 6 will remain the same. 1 will be replaced with 0. So 8260. Question 5. The digit in the tens place is 9. Look at the digit to its right. It's more than 5. That means the tens place should change. So I should get the next digit after 9. So that means I need to add 1 to 9 to get the next digit. Okay, so let's add 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Carry 1. 2 plus 1 is 3 and then 6. So here we have 630. What about this 6? That will be replaced with a 0. So first let me put that 0 and then put 630 here. So now my number is 6300. Question 6. The digit in the tens place is 9 and the digit to its right is more than 5. That means the underlying digit should change. That means I have to increase this by 1. So 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4. I've got 400. So I will write 400 there and what about this 8? That will be replaced with a 0. So my number is 4000. So we have rounded off 3998 to the nearest 10 and it's become 4000. Okay, next one. Seventh one. Now the digit in the tens place is 9 and the digit to its right is more than 5. That means the tens place should go to the next digit. That means we need to add 1. So let's add there. 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1. 3 plus 1 is 4 and then 2, 7. So we have 7240. Now what about this 6? That will be replaced with a 0. So what do we have now? 72400. Question 2. Round off or approximate each of the following to the nearest 100. This time to the nearest 100. Your question is very important. Now, the first two questions are here. So The first step is by underlining the digit in the hundreds place. So let's do that for question 1. So this is 1s, 10s and 100s. The digit in the hundreds place is 7. 
Now let's look at the digit to its right. It is 4, which is less than 5, isn't it? So if that digit to the right is less than 5, then the underlying digit remains the same. That means 7 will remain the same and all the other digits to the right will be replaced by zeros. So we've got 700. Let's go to the second question. Here also ones, tens and hundreds. The hundreds place we have 7. The digit to its right is more than 5. If it's more than 5, then the underlying digit will change to its next digit. That is 7 will now become 8 and the digits to its right will all be replaced by zeros. So we have 800. Question 3. Digit in the hundreds place this time is 6 and the digit to its right is more than 5. So the underlying digit will change to its next digit that is 7. So here we have 2 as it is and 7 and the other two digits to its right will be replaced with zeros. So 2700. Question 4, 5432 to the nearest 100. So first get the digit in the hundreds place, underline it, look at the digit to its right, it's 3. It's less than 5, that means the underlying digit will not change. So we have 5, 4 and the digit to the right of the underlying digit will all be replaced with zeros, 5400. Question 5. Let's underline the digit in the hundreds place. It's 9 and the digit to its right is also more than 5. That means the underlined digit will change to the next one. And how do we get the next one? By adding 1. So let's add 1 to 9. So 69 plus 1, that's what we have, isn't it? 69 plus 1 is 70. So let's write 70. Then what about the other two digits to the right of the underlying digit? These two digits, they will be replaced with zeros. Question 6. Let's get the hundreds place. The hundreds place here is 9. So let's look at the digit to its right. That is also more than 5. That means the underlying digit will change to its next digit. And how do we get the next digit? By adding 1 to the underlined digit. So let's do that. Let's add 1 to the hundreds place. So when you add 1, what do you get? You get 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1. 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1, 6. So we have 600. Then what about these other two digits to the right? Those two will be replaced with zeros. So we have 60,000. Question 3. Round off approximate each of the following to the nearest thousand. So this time we have to round off to the nearest thousand. Question 1. So here we have 6 in the thousands place which has been underlined already. So the first step is underline the digit in the thousands place and then look at the digit to its right. If it's 5 or more than 5 it will change but if it is less than 5 the underlined digit will not change it will remain the same so let's write that now since the digit to the right is 4 it's less than 5 isn't it so 6 will remain the same and all the other digits to its right will be replaced by zeros there are three digits so three zeros so this answer is 6000 now question 2 the digit in the thousands place ones tens hundreds thousands the digit in the thousands place is 6 the digit to its right is more than 5 that means 6 will change to the next digit which is 7 so 6 will change to 7 and all the digits to its right will be replaced with zeros 1 2 3 zeros question 3 now let's look for the digit in the thousands place so we have ones tens hundreds and thousands that is 5 is in the thousands place. The digit to its right is less than 5. It's 3. So 5 will remain the same. This 5 will remain the same. And the one before it will also remain the same. So we will have 25 here as it is. So let's write 25. And all the uh, digits to the right of the underlying digit will be replaced with zeros. There are 3 digits. So 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3. So that's become 25,000. Question 4, we have 32,568. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. 2 is in the thousands place. The digit to the right is 5. That means 2 will change to the next 
digit. 2 will become 3. And the digit to its right, left also will remain the same. So 3 and 2 has become 3 now. Now all the digits to its right will be replaced with zeros. So there are three digits there. 1, 2, 3. So 3 zeros. So our answer here is 33,000. We have questions 5 and 6. Now the fifth one, 1s, 10s, 100s. The last one is thousands. So 9 is in the thousands place. Look at the digit to its right. It's more than 5. That means the 9 which is in the thousands place will change to the next number. Now how does it change to the next number? By adding 1. So let's add 1 to the 9 which is in the thousands place. So I add 1 here. Okay, only to that 9. So 9 plus 1 is 10. So I have 10 here and all the digits to the right of the 9 that is these three digits will now become zeros. So 1, 2, 3 zeros. So our answer is 10,000. Now the sixth one, the digit in the thousands place, ones, tens, hundreds, thousands is again 9. Let's look at the digit to its right. It's more than 5. So the digit which is in the thousands place will now change to the next digit. So let's add 1 to it. So I'm going to add 1 to the 9 which is in the thousands place. So 9 plus 1 is 10, carry 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, 90. So let me write 90 first. Then look at the other three digits. We're going to replace them all with zeros. 1, 2, 3. So we have 90,000. Question 4, round up, approximate. The first one is 578 to the nearest 10. So this is very important. We have 10 there. So look for the digit in the tens place. 7. Now look at the digit to its right. It's more than 5. So what you have underlined will now change to the next digit. 7 will now become 8. So before that what we have remains the same. 7 becomes 8 and the digit to its right will be replaced with 0. So 578 rounded off to the nearest 10 is now 580. Now we have to round it off to the nearest 100. So underline the digit which is in the hundreds place and look at the digit to its right. It's more than 5 so the hundreds place will now change to 6. 5 will change to 6 and the digits to it, its right will be replaced with zeros. Question 3, 4327 to the nearest 1000. So underline the digit in the thousands place, ones, tens, hundreds and thousands. Now look at the digit to its right. It's 3 which is less than 5. That means the underlying digit will not change. It will remain the same. So let me write 4. All the digits to its right will be replaced with zeros. So 3 digits, so 3 zeros. So it's now become 4000. Question 4. To the nearest 10,000. So 32,974 to the nearest 10,000. So let's find that place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. And the last digit is 10,000. That is 3. So we have underlined 3. We're going to look at the digit next to it. That is 2, which is less than 5. That means the underlined digit will not change. So I'm going to write 3 as it is. And all the digits to the right of the underlined digits will be replaced with zeros. So how many digits are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 zeros, 1. Now let's put that 1, 2, 3 and 4. So what's our answer? 30,000. Next one. 27,487 to the nearest 10,000 again. So look for the 10,000's place. 1's, 10's, 100's, 1000's and 10,000's. So 2 is in the 10,000's place. Now look at the digit to its right. It's 7. It's more than 5. That means the underlying digit will change. 2 will now become 3. And all the digits to its right will all be replaced by zeros. There are 4 digits. So 4 zeros. 1, 2, 3 and 4. That's 30,000 again. So we'll stop with that for now children. In our next video we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.